How big a screen you use for a home theater is dictated by a number of factors, uh, not the least of which is how far away you're going to be sitting from the screen so that it properly fits your peripheral vision, uh, as well as the restrictions of the size of the room, ceiling height, width, other factors come into play. Common misconception is for customers to want to get the biggest screen they could possibly get, even though that may not be the right fit for the room. Uh, you wouldn't go to a movie and sit in the front row on purpose, so it doesn't make sense to bring that experience to your own home where you have to live with it permanently. Using a proper projection screen is essential for having an accurate and crisp picture. Sometimes people have a tendency to want to just project the image on a flat surface or say, I'll just paint the wall. For the small amount of overall cost that a screen adds to the project, you're better off to do it right. There is no point in having a high-grade projector projecting a high-grade image onto a low-grade surface. One of the most important factors with a projection system is to have a perfectly flat surface to display the image on. With a fixed frame screen, that fabric is perfectly flat. With an electric or a drop down screen, the fabric has a tendency to have small imperfections or waves in it that might not look like much, but when you're displaying the image on that screen, it's noticeable. Sometimes they're a necessity, but my recommendation for a professional home theater is to do a fixed frame screen. One of the areas that Toronto Home Theatre excels in is retrofit style work, where we have to work around a finished room to get wiring, components, speakers and the projector placed in appropriate locations to make the theatre system work. One of the simplest and most cost effective ways to do a home theatre is to plan ahead and make sure that you add the essential wiring and components that have to go on behind the scenes before you finish the room. Absolutely. Uh, almost any video game system that's currently on the market is completely compatible with any projection system. Uh, again, a common misconception with projection systems is that they're only for movies. You can watch television on them, stream videos from the internet, video game systems, photo presentations, almost anything you can think of that you can do with a television, you can do with a projection system. Some people's instincts are to go with just a large flat panel television, thinking that maybe projection doesn't look that good or is more costly than say a 60, 65 or 70 inch large flat panel TV. If you break it down just to the display component, be it the television or the projection system of a home theater system, you can achieve a lot larger screen at the same or even less of a price point than a television. Projection systems typically excel in a light controlled environment. For most people, that's going to be the basement of your home. In a living room environment, you have a lot of sunlight, natural light coming into the room. That's not really good for projection systems. So projection systems will by far show you their best image in a light controlled environment. That usually means a basement. Toronto Home Theatre is a turnkey solution provider. We can supply and install your entire project. We have custom cabinetry builders, we have custom painting, electrical, lighting solutions, almost anything you can think of. We can handle your project from start to finish or we can coordinate with existing trades. Started the company in 2007 with a very simple old world business philosophy. We're going to provide our customers with excellent value, we're going to provide them with honest advice and treat them fair, and we're going to do a good job. Everything that you see in this demonstration is my own personal home theater 
and everything that you see here was completed by Toronto Home Theatre staff.